Today is Teacher Appreciation Day. Today's Teacher Appreciation Day, one of the many days we should remember some wonderful teachers here in Connecticut. Yeah, as we appreciate them, we're also discussing what's being done to add more teachers to the ranks and keep the good ones around. So here to talk about what's being done in Hartford, we're happy to have Zoe Cruz, a core member serving Hartford Public High School. Zoe, thank you so much for being here today. How are you? Absolutely. Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing well. How are you? Uh, we are doing great. great. And curious to hear about what you do, what your role is within Hartford Public Schools. Yeah, so I teach uh, freshman English here at Hartford High. Um, I work with about 75 students who are from all over the world, primarily South America, Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic. Um, and my role is just to support them and help them learn English and the uh, English language arts. Well, Zoe, over the past two years, things have been incredibly mm -hmm. difficult. Teachers have had to do things that they never thought was even possible. That's why it's so important to show our teachers how much they are appreciated right now, right? Absolutely. And what's being yeah. done? Go, sorry, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. What's being done in Hartford to celebrate all of our teachers? Yeah, I think um, so. Every day, um, we get to work with students and administrators and families who do their best to appreciate us. Um, whether that is, you know, verbally saying thank you so much for all you do, bringing in, um, you know, like a snack like donuts, or just giving us their time to help us improve our craft um, and help us serve our students the best that we can. Where do you guys need the most help at Hartford High School and in Hartford schools in general? Um, I think. It depends on, on any classroom, but um, what we certainly need the most help in doing is just providing our students with what they need at this really challenging time, because we are all doing our best to bridge any social emotional learning gaps, academic gaps, any social service gaps that maybe have dropped during the pandemic. Um, so any of those services are key to making sure our students can do and thrive the best that they can.